One day after New York City approved a tentative $40 million settlement for five men wrongly convicted of the rape of a jogger in Central Park, the plaintiffs held a news conference. Alexis Christophorus has that story from New York. It seems like justice is starting to be restored. Three of the men exonerated in the infamous Central Park jogger case stood side by side in front of New York's City Hall. Kevin Richardson struggled to control his emotions. People called us animals. We'll pack. I have four sisters and a mother. I would never do anything to a woman. I was raised better than that. Five black and Hispanic teenagers were convicted in the 1989 beating and rape of a female jogger in Central Park. The case made national headlines and popularized the term wilding. The defendants confessed to the crime, but later claimed they had been coerced. DNA evidence eventually proved their innocence, but not before one man spent 13 years in prison and the other four nearly seven years. Youssef Salam says he's not bitter. We have a story to tell because we're really a living part of history now. The settlement fulfills a pledge from New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio to right what he called an injustice. It's unbelievable the injustice that we suffered throughout all these years and that we continue to suffer till today. A federal court still must approve the tentative $40 million settlement. Each man will receive about a million dollars for each year served in prison. Alexis Christophorus, CBS News, New York. Now the man who ultimately confessed to the rape said he acted alone.